Binding numbers can be used to determine if an object lies inside or outside a given polygon. In principle, they just represent the number of times you would go around in circles if you walk along all the edges of the boundary. Now imagine having a horizontal line going through the polygon, just like this. You can see that when we walk around the border now, uh, we cross this line precisely two times, once here and once here. And one time we go from below the line to above the line, and one time we go from above to below. Now, let's place a point right here. You might wonder how a position that lies inside the polygon on this line is special compared to a position outside on the line. So like, what, what is the difference? And the answer is easily visible if you only count the numbers of edges that crosses the line that are right of the point. So right now, this counter is at one because there's one edge right of the point. And if you move to the left of the polygon, then this number increases to two. And if you move to the right of the polygon, this number is zero. So all we have to do for this algorithm to work is to just take this number and say, well, if it is even, then this point is outside the polygon. And otherwise, if it's odd, like here, for example, then the position is inside. And as you can see, this is even working for polygons with folds, no problem. One special case left is when there are edges lying exactly on the horizontal line. This is because we could either interpret this situation as having three edges or zero edges to the right of the point. That is why we count the ones leading to or from this edge instead. For an edge that leads to this horizontal line, we add plus a half. And for an edge that leads away from this line, we also add a half for a total of uh, one. After that adjustment, it pretty much works with any, with any polygon. Now, we just need to code it in. Note that I'm adding and subtracting ones depending on the edge direction. This is just so the algorithm would also work for uh, self-intersecting polygons. In other words, we are checking if you're going from below to above the line or the other way around. And then we add plus one or minus one, uh, depending on which direction we go. This will modify the counter a little bit, but uh, the even odd thing will still work just fine. I'm also assuming here that the vertices are ordered counterclockwise. If you go clockwise, then A, you're a savage. And B, you would have to add plus one when we subtract minus one right now and vice versa. Or it just simply won't work anymore. And here we go. Here's your algorithm to determine if a point is inside or outside a polygon by just adding and subtracting some numbers. This is completely without any trigonometry or intersection calculations. So, thank you for watching, leave a like, leave a follow, and most importantly, leave money on my bank account by buying one of my Unity assets. Link to the store plus a link to the code are in the description. Bye.